In this video, we're going to take a look at how to group and ungroup vectors. So you can see right now, I've got a bunch of vectors that are individual. These are all individual vectors, as you can see, indicated by the dashed line around each of these when I select them. You can see all of these have a dashed line. They're all individual vectors. Now, what I can do is group these together. So let's say I want to keep all of my text together so I can have them all in one place and move them around. So if I ever want to move my text around, because I want to maybe move this up or down in my outline for my sign, I can actually group them together. There's a couple of different ways I can do this. Now, I can come over to the tool over here, which says to group to group the selected objects. Now, if I click that, you'll notice what it does is it groups together all my text. So previously, I couldn't move them all together, but now I can move them where I want to go. I can also use the handles here to adjust my text altogether as well. I can also use the transform tools now to manipulate my text all as one. Now if I control Z that, you can see the difference because previously if I clicked on the text, it only move just the one piece of text. Whereas when they're grouped, I can highlight, click them, and they have a solid line which indicates they're grouped, and I can move them wherever they need to be. Same with layers, you can see here, I've got a different layer with my diamond. If I turn off the text, and you can see I've got two individual vectors. Again, we can just group these together by left mouse clicking and holding shift while selecting both of them, or you can left mouse click and drag, and anything in this dashed blue line or dashed purple line will be selected, and you can see it highlighted in pink, and we can group it. Similarly, we can actually ungroup this. So if you want to ungroup it, you can Click this button here to ungroup these vectors, and they'll become individual vectors again. You can also do Control Z after you've grouped a bunch of vectors. So you can see if I group them and press Control Z, I can ungroup them. And you can see I can also ungroup them using the option here if I group them together again. But this time I'm going to group them using the shortcut key for G on the keyboard. And I can ungroup them using U on the keyboard. Now I'm going to group them again, but this time I'm going to right mouse click on the vectors and I'm going to choose to move them to another layer. I'm going to move them to the text layer. Now what this has done is it moved it, my diamond outline to my vectors from the diamond outline to my text layer instead. You can see they're now on the text layer. So if I turn this layer off, you can see nothing happens because they're now all on this text layer. If I turn the text layer off, they're on that one layer. Now, importantly, you'll notice if I have these selected and when I go to ungroup them, if I right click the, the vectors and I go ungroup, you'll notice I now have two options. I can ungroup them back onto the original object layers or I can ungroup them onto this layer. So if I ungroup these vectors onto the original object layers, what that means is they will go back to the original layer. So let's have a look at what happens. So let's click that option here. And you notice they're now ungrouped, but more importantly, they are now on back on their original layer. If I turn off the text, you can see they're back on that diamond layer. And that covers how to group and ungroup objects.